Hey guys, Tom Bullington here in Motion Realty, and it is Tuesday, May 25th, seven months till Christmas here in the year 2021. Uh, hope all of you guys are doing well and enjoying this weather. If you like warm, humid weather, this is your day. This is your ticket. We're going to have 50s and 60s here the next couple days before it warms back up into the 70s. So kind of typical Minnesota, um, you know, split personality type of weather um, where it's, you know, it's like the Philippines outside one day and then it's the North Woods the next day. So um, enjoy that. Enjoy that variety. Anyway, um, you're not here for the weather report. You're here for the uh, tantalizing and titillating headline that I put on this video is the housing market is loosening up finally. And I think it is. Uh, I may have some pushback from some people from other realtors, but I believe the housing market is opening up and it's loosening up. And some of the evidence I've had is just anecdotal. It's personal that the phone is tends to be ringing from people who want to list their homes. And um, of course, that's great news for uh, a realtor like myself. But it's also good news for buyers out there who are looking to move into a, a home and have been desperate to find anything that they can purchase for a reasonable price. <coughs> um, that is... Um, that is something that they can do. I had a offer in on a home uh, last week in Maplewood. 39 offers were placed on the house. Uh, my client unfortunately unfortunately did not end up with a home. Um, there was another home here in, in Hastings that we did uh, above list price with cash, waiving an inspection still didn't get it. And according to the agent, we were not even close. <laughs> so um, it still is a tight market. I think it's, it's, you know, compared to other markets relatively, it is still very tight. It's extraordinarily tight. But I am seeing some gleams of hope on the horizon. Um, last weekend, there was about a thousand new <clears throat> thousand new listings here in the Minneapolis St. Paul Northwest MLS um, and then also the um, North Star MLS and then there were about 600 the, the next day I believe there's about 400 today which is kind of unusual for a Tuesday so as you get closer to the weekend things tend to uh, loosen up a little bit as far as listings go so um, if you are in the market for a home, don't lose faith. I think it is loosening up a little bit. If you are selling, conversely, uh, you still are in the driver's seat as far as being in the advantage. It's a seller's market, most certainly still a seller's market, but I do see it's loosening up. Now, why is it loosening up is kind of the, the main question here. Two things. I think first thing is kind of like I predicted last month is that school year is ending in most communities. The school year is over or ending in most towns. You've had prom, you're having graduation ceremonies, all of that's happening, uh, grad parties, all of that. Psychologically, that is kind of the end of spring and the beginning of summer and the quote selling season for real estate. And secondly, and I think we cannot uh, overstate this. I think the importance of the mask mandates being lifted is incredibly influential in this market. Um, I think with COVID, everyone was really just kind of on edge, not, not wondering, you know, not wondering what was going to happen next. And because the masks were involved, there was some trepidation as far as putting homes on the market. Buyers were not as concerned about that, but sellers, as far as having strangers coming into your home, things like that, maybe spreading the virus um, before the before the vaccinations were um, were a thing. Now that a lot of people are vaccinated, I think it's about half the population is vaccinated. Um, the other half should be, but that's a whole nother video. Um, you have a situation where people are putting their homes on the market. They're a little bit less skittish about that. They're a little bit less nervous about having people come through their homes. 
Both businesses, restaurants, things like that don't have a mask mandate any longer, though some businesses do. So um, I think psychologically it has a lot to do with it. The mask mandate has been lifted and the school year is over. Is it going to continue the rest of the summer? I kind of think it is. I do think it's going to loosen up increasingly over the rest of the summer and into the fall. Uh, I wouldn't be too surprised to see things level out between buyers and sellers, maybe by uh, August, September. Could be completely wrong, but I do think that there is a, a long waiting list of buyers. There is a certain desire of people now to sell their homes and to cash in on what they felt was an overinflated market. I do think it's an overinflated market for pricing, um, but we shall see what happens. So anyway, to sum up, yes, uh, the market is, is loosening up a bit. I don't think it's a huge sea change yet, but I do think the, uh, the market has loosened considerably in the last 10 to 14 days. So if you have any more questions, please, you know how to get a hold of me, 651-402-6356. Um, TomBullingtonHomes.com, as always, no pressure. Just We're just going to answer your questions. And if we end up working together, wonderful. If not, there's lots of other great agents out here, um, both in this community as well as um, in the greater Twin Cities. So work with somebody you like, work with someone you're comfortable with, work with someone you trust and uh, you can't go wrong. So we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.